Joe Downs for the Aces Instant Replay Post Game Report, where Missouri State came into Meeks Family Fieldhouse looking for revenge against the team that ended their dreams of an NCAA tournament berth last year. And while the University of Evansville women's basketball team certainly was on the wrong end of a 95-65 loss, at times they did actually look like a team that could compete in the MVC. Let's go to the highlights. Taking on a Bears team picked to contend for the conference crown was a tall enough task and it got a little taller with the absence of senior guard Brooke Dawson. However, the Aces put their heads together and didn't shrink away from the challenge. Kerry <laughs> Gasper with a backdoor pass to Kalen Kaufman for the bang bang bucket early. Next, Gasper decides to keep it herself, getting the circus style scoop shot to go, UE keeping it close early. Later, Macy Lively drops the slick dime on Hannah No, and she cashes it in for two, nodding the game up. What's that? Marley Miller keeps it deadlocked with a tough two in traffic. However, Missouri State tries to pull away midway through the opening stanza. First, Alexa Willard finishes off the fast break in style. Then Liza Friend takes her game outside, draining the three, and the aces are down nine. Then Evansville's M&M girls ignite. Macy Lively with the stylish runner. Next, the aces employ some marvelous ball movement, setting up Marley Miller, who goes three ball. Corner pocket, good. Then with time winding down, it's back to Lively who hoists up a prayer from midcourt and it gets answered. Banking home the buzzer beater aces back within three at the end of one. However, Missouri State can score with the best of them and in the second quarter, they demonstrate just that en route to outscoring UE 23 to four and the aces are down 22 with the break. The second half sees the Bears pour it on, and at one point they build a 44-point bulge. But UE doesn't fold, and led by Kerry Gasper, the Aces cut the deficit down by 17, until finally falling 95-65. After the game, I caught up with head coach Matt Ruffing as well as a few of the players to talk about exactly what they learned from today's matchup. We can learn from this as a team, um, all the way from the coaches to the players, um, feeding off of each other. We know, I think we really saw what Macy is capable of and we can get her more involved and um, just seeing what everybody can do. Um, we can work on what we did wrong and get better on the things um, that we weren't successful at today. You know, I think we just got to realize we have to play harder and um, play more as a team. Um, every single game, you know, we're kind of struggling right now and we're missing Brooke, obviously, and we would obviously love to have her out here, but you know, right now we're just kind of having to pick it up and figure out what works for us and um, try to capitalize on the things that we can that we know we can be successful at. You know, I thought the first quarter, you know, we, that was our game plan and what we did. I give Missouri State a lot of credit. They hit some really nice shots, made some nice reads, but I thought defensively and offensively we were really glued into the game plan. That uh, second quarter, our energy level and effort level dropped. And, you know, against a team like this that's picked second in the league, that's a really good team that probably is thinking about last year's conference tournament uh, loss to us. Can't have that. Uh, they're too good to do that, and we found out the hard way. That's great for us, knowing that we can hang with teams like that. Um, knowing that we weren't picked one of the top four or five teams in the league um, gives us a chip on our shoulder and showing like people out here and around the NBC that we can hang for a quarter. We just have to keep pushing for us. Um, it's a positive outcome for us for that first quarter. Yeah, that's great that you know we played with them in that first quarter because they are, I mean, the top dog in our conference for sure. And so um, to be able to do that, but we just got to be able to do it for four quarters and not just one quarter because um, we just kind of let them get away from us there in that second quarter, only scoring four points. And so um, I think that you, you take away a lot of positives from that first quarter and maybe go back and watch it and see what we did really well to see how we can carry that over into quarters two, three, and four. We're just trying to learn on the fly. Um, you know, this is the second conference, NBC conference game for most of our players. And so they're kind of learning the level and stuff that you got to play at in this league. So uh, I think they got their eyes open today, but I felt like there were some things that, that we did well. And I appreciate the effort we gave in the fourth quarter, not giving up. Friday brings Indiana State. What's the message coming out of this one and into that one? Well, we got to put all of our energy and effort starting tomorrow into getting that win at Indiana State. 
a uh, different team. I mean, all three teams that we will now face um, are different. You know, they're defensive minded. It's going to be tough. I mean, anytime you play them, it's ugly. Um, even in the times that we've won there, we've walked out, you know, felt like we were in a boxing match with Mike Tyson. Uh, it's just so tough. So, you know, we got to we got to regroup as a team and, you know, just build build off the positives and try and fix fix the mistakes. So the UE women's search for MVC victory number one continues coming up next Friday as they make the trip up to Terre Haute to take on Indiana State. For the Aces, instant replay postgame report, I'm Joe Downs. Our fifth third bank moment of momentum goes to Gary Gasper. The junior guard tallied a team high 19 points along with 11 rebounds and four assists. And remember, you can keep up with all things Evansville Athletics on GoPurpleAces.com, as well as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and our YouTube channel.